My name is John Chestnut. I'm a research fellow in synthetic biology R&D. At the beginning, we were developing cloning vectors, the old PCDNA vectors. Uh, that was all restriction enzymes. And then we moved into Gateway that made cloning that much easier and much more rapid. We started working with Gateway technology in 2001. At the time, there was this standard cloning technology, which is restriction enzyme and ligase. And, and it was very difficult sometimes to move pieces of DNA from vector to vector. Gateway technology set a, very, a new paradigm for the customer that allowed them the freedom to move pieces of DNA around into different vectors very easily. And once they got clear on the concept, it was, uh, the uptake was very quick. And, and labs were really using a gateway to move, uh, move genes and, and fragments of DNA from one vector to another in a really high throughput manner. So it, it really allowed cloning of entire uh, what we call orpheomes, so the open reading frames from different organisms in very high throughput uh, from one vector to another. So it really enabled a new paradigm of, of uh, gene expression tools. Uh, what we did further from that is we, we developed the multi-site gateway system which allows uh, assembly of multiple different uh, DNA fragments in a single reaction into a completely, com a very complex uh, expression vector, something that couldn't be done with restriction enzymes and ligase, uh, so it essentially enabled at the time uh, construction of these really useful uh, constructs for the customers. Well, we have uh, a family of entry vectors, which is where, where the system starts. So we clone a piece of DNA into the entry vector. Then there's a very large family of what we call destination vectors, and these are expression vectors for uh, many, any of many different hosts. Um, so that allow, it's easy to transfer a piece of DNA from one vector to another. Uh, to do that, there's a, a, the enzymes are called clonases. And so we can go from entry vector to destination vector using LR clonase. We can go from uh, PCR product to entry vector using BP clonase, so the reaction goes backward, you know, it goes both directions. Uh, so then there's basically entry and destination vectors. There are what are called donor vectors for, for, creating, uh, for creating entry vectors. And then there's the whole series of enzymes that go along with it to make it easy to, to do the operations. There are several systems that kind of approach and do part of what, what Gateway does, but I think the Gateway system uh, is a much broader and more useful technology than anything that's, that's currently out there.